Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Um, I hope you heard my name. I'm not going to repeat it. It's Hui Tsimang, for those of you who didn't hear. And first of foremost, before we, I entertain you guys, thank you so much for the invitation to me. And the reason why we are here today, it's because of seven years of investment. The reason why we are here today is because of someone who understood the word investment. Sure. The reason why we are here today, it's not because we wanted to be here. It's because to me, was able to see the future before the future began. To me, was able to see the end from the beginning. To me, was able to operate in the likeness and in the manner of God. Because you are made in the image and in the likeness of God. So you exhibited exactly the material that you are made out of. You expressed everything that is inside of you by expressing the love of God through your business. And you are doing that with delicacy, which is a touch of care. God is love, and love never fails. I never see it as love failing at all. Thank you so much. Uh, by the way, I'm born again, don't worry. I love the fact that we are educated. Why? Because we like speaking English a lot. And therefore, for that manner and for that, uh, for that reason, I am happy that I can feel free today to share the word with you. Uh, but it's not the word of God, it's a word of motivation. Uh, when I was invited, I was told that um, please come and empower me. That's what you said, ne? Yes, my topic was just emp just empower us. But now I have news for you. It is impossible for me to empower you if I'm not empowered. It is impossible for me if I am bitter to make you better. So you can only be empowered by someone who's already empowered. So as I am here, I am expecting you to be ready to open your mind, be ready to change your mind, be ready to receive what I'm about to say, and you can also learn on what to do with your life and invest it for the better. Tomorrow we should be gathering like this, celebrating all our businesses, because I believe each and every one of us is born with a gift. And what we are here for is because of the gift that Dumi has shared with us. Are we still here? Are we still here? Are we still here? Can I hear you say yes? yes. Are you around? Yes. yes. So I said that I cannot empower you unless I myself I am empowered. It is only better people who make other people better. You cannot make a person happy if yourself you are not happy. Am I correct or am I right? Am I correct or am I right? Cats do not give birth to dogs. And dogs cannot give birth to cats. What am I saying to you? What I'm saying to you is that what I'm about to do here can enable you, equip you and empower you to also end up where you want and where you wish to be in life. Because the reason why we are here is because of someone who decided to invest in what we call their potential. Invest in what we call their gift, their skill, their ability. So I am here to share with you today that you also have something that you can share with the world. But you first have to believe that you are capable. You first have to believe that you are able. You first have to believe that it's within you that you can share something also with the world. We are not here on earth just to live and pass by, but we are here to make impact and influence. Are we still here? How do you empower yourself? How do you empower yourself? Number one, you empower yourself through the law of association. 
What is the law of association? It's who you relate with, who you have around you. Everyone who has spoken here are the people who have been around you. And I best believe they've had a hand in your business in one way or the other. It may be through speaking, through giving you ideas, through sharing ideas, or through you know giving advice, but one way or the other they had a hand. So this is what the law of association does for us. The law of association simply says you will always look like the five or the people that you spend time with. Yeah. You reflect who you spend time with. I look around, I see nice faces, beautiful faces around. Why? Because we have spent time today with his love. But if you don't spend time with his love, you can never look the way she looks. Why? Because it's the law of association. So if you want to change your life, the first thing I advise you today is change the people around you. If the people around you are lower than you, or if the people around you, they make you feel smart, you are in the wrong group. You need to always feel small and always feel as if you can do better. If you feel you are the better one in your group of friends, just know you are in the wrong crowd. That's number one. So what are you, somebody tap your neighbor and say, change your friends. Tap your neighbor and say, change your friends. Neighbor, neighbor, be careful of your friends. The Bible says, iron sharpens iron. Not wood sharpens iron. Iron only sharpens what? Iron. Tipite uri shepeche ushoka tipite di. Ukasi sere di si ma planka. If loe na uto shepe bu piloba hau katile uba planka yon. Ibana liba chuba strong around you emotionally, mentally, spiritually so. If you have people who are spiritually weak around you, mentally weak, emotionally weak, you are also going to suffer the same consequences. Are we still here? Number two, how do you empower yourself? You can only empower yourself by investing in yourself. Number two, you can empower yourself by investing in what? In yourself. If you don't invest in yourself, don't expect other people to start investing in you. People only invest in those who invest in themselves. So tell yourself and tell your neighbor, today I'm going to start investing in myself. Say neighbor, every neighbor, every neighbor, today I'm going to start investing in myself. Number two, I'm going to start investing in my mind. Yes, there's no need for you to be wearing high heels, but your mind is on flip-flops. I always complain, Kiri. I teach young men and young boys to say, if a girlfriend that you have or a lady that you are seeing or the lady that you like or the lady that you are with starts asking you for 2,000 rand your record with, I say, ask them first to give you an idea to make 2,000 rand. Because there's no need to wear with your 2,000 rand that would be for your 5 cent. No, why should I take 2,000 out, Mara? I can't make it back. We need to invest in ourselves so that we are careful when we even make demands. Are we still here? He said, also invest in your potential. But you never gave up. Why? Because you saw potential. And you invested in it for the past seven years and look at where we are today. So every one of us here has the same potential. When we speak about potential, ability something that you are able and that you are capable of doing without a sweat. So find out what do you love doing? What can you do better than anyone else? Once you find that, invest in it. Invest in what? In it. My sister, if this thing is still at the same level in the next seven years, the sad news is that you will have failed. 
I don't know if I'm understood. If we are still at the same position after seven years, she has failed. So Lilo Una, by being here, when you live here and you come next year when we are celebrating and you have nothing to show off, you have failed. Let's move forward. Let's start acting on the things that we know. Let's you see? You kept saying that she's wise. You kept saying that she's wise. That she's wise. That you are wise. But when you study wisdom, the definition of wisdom is that wisdom is when theory meets practice. Until you practice what you know, you are not wise. You can know how to start a business, but if you don't do it, you are not wise. How can you have a friend who runs a business and you are not inspired to run one? You are soon going to become a witch. Yes! You will soon become a witch. Your friend is a business person, you are not inspired. What does that mean? We said iron sharpens what? Iron. Remember, you reflect who you spend your time with. How you talk. You can tell or you speak like five of your friends. You don't speak the same way as I do. Why? Because of the people you spend your time with. How you carry yourself is because of the people who are around you. That's why, Barry, if you are going to be the sixth one. If you are going to be the millionaire, you are soon to become the sixth one. If you are going to be the bro, you are going to become the sixth one. It is as simple as that. That's the law of association. So learn these things and learn how to empower yourself. Until you are empowered, you remain disempowered. Are we still here? Are we still learning? In closing, how do you invest in yourself? How? Because if I live here without telling you what to do, I have failed as a speaker. Telling you to invest in yourself, but not telling you how, where, and what to do. I have failed you as a speaker. So how do you invest in yourself? Number one, you invest in yourself by reading books. What kind of book do you read? You don't read books about magazines. You don't read newspapers. You don't read funny stories or love stories or romantic, uh, what do you call them? Romantic novels, because those things don't help you to grow. They just entertain you. So you read books that are self-help books, personal development books, books that help you to establish and get to understand how to operate your emotional intelligence. She is here because of emotional intelligence. If she was not a person who is developed, I, know, I think you guys must have been aware of how you ladies tend to fight more compared to us as guys. So it takes serious education of self, personal development, serious investment in yourself for you to be able to run a business. So invest in yourself, number one. Read books, personal development books, self-help books. Number two, how do you go about investing in yourself? You can invest in yourself by watching documentaries or TV programs that are helpful in terms of giving you business ideas, in terms of helping you how to better your life, how to make your life better than yesterday. And lastly, as I close, you can only empower yourself by being at events such as these. So for first, uh, before I even close, just give yourself a warm round of applause for being here. So that is for you having decided to invest in yourself. Don't consider this as time wasted. Don't consider this as money wasted. Don't consider this as a day wasted. But consider this as, a, as, a, as an investment in yourself, as an investment in your potential, and as an investment in your mind. Had you not been here, you would have not gotten the chance to learn what we shared today. Thank you so much. Thank you.